Hey guys, welcome back. It's the Carlis, and in today's deck review, I'm going to be reviewing the Bicycle Sea Creatures playing cards Bicycle Branded. So let's get straight on into it. Okay, so let's give you some information about this deck, and welcome back by the way guys. Now this is the Bicycle Branded Colorized Sea Creature deck. This is basically a limited edition Bicycle Branded deck. There is colorized version of the Sea Culture deck as well. The court cards feature illustrations of various sea creatures fully colored and shaped. The Bicycle Branded tuck case as well, and it's embossed um, with blue foil on the inside. But I will show you that when we get to the tuck case. Now, by the way, this deck was actually sent to me by Jack and Jokers, so go check them out. Link in the description below to pick up this deck. It is an awesome deck, and I recommend picking it up, and they've got other decks on the website. So first off, let's have a look at the back design. Now it has a cream colour to it, as you would notice, with the octopus on the back there and the colouring they have used is absolutely superb. If you just look at that, even the tentacles and everything, the detail of the illustration is just amazing. Even though it comes out the border, which kind of, if you look at it, makes quite a really interesting fan. but. It's really interesting in the aspect of the colouring they've used, with a nice blue to the colouring of the octopus, it's orange, the colour really really pops. But what do we actually get with this deck? Okay, so let's get on with the cards you receive. So first off, you do receive a double backer, which is always useful for magic, uh, and I always find it very useful to have a double backer in the collection of a deck. Moving on, you do receive a piece of artwork, but I will show you that just in a second. Now this deck was printed by Brain Vessel, and then as you can see it just has their uh, information just there with their logo, and then it has the back design there as well. But you receive this artwork of, da 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 let me show you, let me get it actually put together properly, there you go. So it's actually a octopus, or bloody that's not an octopus, what the hell is that? No idea, and a whale kind of in this fight, uh, and it's basically cards that join to make this picture, but they could have done something else, but the Anna, the illustration for it is absolutely amazing, um, and it's just thinks it's a deck of cards and they've created something like that, so it looks really, really cool. But let's move on to the Ace of the Spades. Well, there's only one Ace of Spades of the Spades. Okay, so when you get the Ace of Spades, first off you can see the fish floating around the actual Ace, uh, and I believe it's a um, octopus, but to be honest, it, all fish are not very good with fish. Um, but it has the Ace of Spades with the nice detailing line going down the side with the fish floating behind and swimming past, and the colouring is absolutely amazing, and it has this kind of watery texture to the back, as you would notice there, which I think really, really pops. We'll move on to the two as well. You can see it continues the kind of bluey water um, look to it, the reflection of water, and it goes the whole way through with this texture. And you can see it goes the whole way through with the eight, the nine, the ten. When you get to the royalty, you can see Jack Queen King. You have the uh, Oh, giant squid, it's a squid, I do apologise, it's a squid with a nice design of the coral around the inside. Then this one here uh, as well, and then you also have this one that's a lionfish, and it does actually say the fish there with the coral going around the outside. These are absolutely stunning royalty. Let's move on to the hearts. Okay, so I'm going to switch it around just to show you, but as you can see we've got the hearts, so we have the blue whale to the dolphins, and then you have the sea turtle, and it goes the whole way through with the stand, the 9, the 10, the 8, the 7, the 6, etc. Even the ace of spades with the nice bluey design, the sea colouring on the back. But they all around the illustrations are absolutely stunning. But let's have a look at the other two suits. When it comes to suits, you can't forget the great white. Now obviously it's got jumping out, it is a mirror design, it is just blowing out of the card, it's just amazing. The illustrations they've done is absolutely probably one of the best decks for design. The amount of art they've done, so we've got a few sharks here, we've got the hammerhead, we've got the bullet ball shark, and then we've got a great shark, great white. So, then we move on to the clubs. You can see it goes the whole way through with just the clubs with the C cut, um, texture on the background. And it goes the whole way through this deck as well, even with the ace of clubs. When you get to the diamonds, we have a seahorse. Just look at that design. Then you have, uh, continuing on to the devilfish. And then you have a moron eel. 
continues there and the absolute design there and the diamonds as well are nice and red and I think that they're very quite pointy and they've kind of got these kind of you know when something's been in see it like um, decades. It's got this decaying effect on the pips, which I think is awesome. And it goes the whole way through to the Ace of Diamonds. But let's have a look at the tuck case. So here is the tuck case. So first off, it has bicycle on the tab there, just on the front, with this nice gold and blue foils. There is foils in the tuck case, with this embossing of the whale jumping out of the water with the coral just going around the outside. It really, really pops the tuck case, and it looks amazing with the map that's in the background as well. You can see the map continues the whole way to the top and around. It's like this map that goes the whole way around the deck, which makes it pop. On the side it has sea creatures and if you turn it over to the other side it has sea creatures as well. It has some incorporate information just there with the recycling logo and then it has a seal there with the actual logo for the company. Then you receive the back design. Now it shows you a cream border with the octopus as we have seen but the colouring they've used is like a reflective paint which makes it absolutely awesome and you can see how detailed this deck actually is. It Really they've paid a lot of attention to this deck. Even when you pop the tab, it has some produced by Brain Vessel and then illustrated by, and then you can see, bang, it has that nice turquoise foil inside the tuck case, and it just feels like you're going to be putting the deck in the sea. It has the sea theme, it looks reflective, and it gives you that reflection of the sea, which you do get. So amazing. But, does the deck actually handle good? Okay, so let's test the handling of this deck. Now, by the way, this deck I haven't had for very uh, long. I've had it for a few weeks now, and this deck handles amazing. It is a beauty to handle. Even though it is a very simple deck um, in the aspect of the, com the concept of the idea, but the amount of detail and the ink that's on this deck, and it can still perform really, really well. Now, it is a limited deck, so I would pick one up. Now, they aren't the cheapest deck in the world, but to be honest, the quality you're getting with this deck, you can't really beat elsewhere. It is an exquisite deck of cards to pick up. One of my favourites this year, it's awesome. As you can see, giant fan. It looks amazing, and I love this deck of cards. Really worth picking up, but let's move on to some of the other things this deck can do. Okay, so we're going to see if it can do any flourishes wise. And all round, it is a beautiful deck of cards. It is just amazing, to be honest. The handling is, if you've ever had these steampunks, you know when you get it out, it's kind of that oily theme. It's like that. It really does last. It is a beautiful crafted deck of cards. And all round, it is one of those decks that I could easily pick up. Now, even though it has the colouring that they've chosen, when you can do stuff, you can have double lifts, and I may have revealed that there, whoopsie daisy. But you can have a card turn over, as you would notice, and it kind of you can kind of hide it a little bit. But the facing of the card, I've got to admit, is a little bit lighter than the back, meaning that it does reveal sometimes. So that would be my only disappointment in the deck. But all around, I can't really complain too much. It is an amazing deck of cards, and it looks stunning. So if you guys enjoyed this video and you guys would like to pick this deck up, make sure you go get this from Jack and Joe because I will leave the link and the description below to pick up this deck. It is a beautiful deck of cards and if you get around to it, I would definitely pick one up. So that's it guys. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you guys did, then give it a like just down there. Click the subscribe up there and check out the previous video just up there. That's it guys. I hope you guys have a great day and I'll see you guys in the next one. If you're new to the channel, comment down below what you thought and any changes you would like to make and I'll see what we can do here. Um, but that's it guys. I'll see you guys in the next one. Goodbye.